This is a strongman. The average strongman requires over 12,000 calories every single day just to support their massive 350 plus pound bodies. Brian Shaw, Eddie, The Beast, Hall, and Half Thor Bjornsson are some of the most recognized strongmen in history and are known for their insanely high calorie diets. These men clearly know how to eat a ton of calories, but so does this guy. In this insane calorie challenge, one man attempts to blend together the diets of these famous strongmen with one goal in mind, to consume double what the average strongman eats in one day. Given that the average strongman outweighs this man by 250 plus pounds, this guy may have just bitten off a bit more than he could chew. This is about to be a lot of food. $175 later, we have all of our food. It's time for the world's strongest man diet challenge. Times two. The next day. Alrighty folks, so we're getting the day started with the morning run. If you guys are new to calorie challenges on my channel, that's how I roll. Today is gonna be an absolutely insane, insane day full of calories and a lot of protein. I'll be blending the diets of Brian Shaw, Eddie Hall, and Half Thor Bjornsson into one insane calorie challenge. I've got my work cut out for me, folks. Let's move. All right, everybody, so the run's done for the day. Now it's time to get our pre-challenge weight and our pre-challenge physique check. That's a lot of eggs. Alrighty, Electric Empire. So we have breakfast fully assembled right here. I'm excited to get into this one, folks. This is the world's strongest man's diet challenge times two. That being said, everything I eat today for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is double of what a typical strong man would eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So for this meal, everyone, I decided that I'm gonna pay tribute to the man himself, Mr. Brian Shaw. Brian filmed a day in his diet a few years ago and it went viral, it went everywhere. A typical breakfast for Brian Shaw was eight eggs, cinnamon toast crunch, and a tablespoon of peanut butter. Obviously, we have way more than just eight eggs, cinnamon toast crunch, and a tablespoon of peanut butter. We have one jar of peanut butter, two boxes of cinnamon toast crunch, eight slices of toast, 16 eggs, with bacon and cheese, and also two protein shakes over here. Gotta get my protein in. All in all, this meal should be just over 8,000 calories. Like I said earlier, folks, there's gonna be a lot of protein in today's calorie challenge. I don't even know what's about to happen. The amount of fiber and just the sheer volume of the food I'm gonna be eating today. This is just, I'm gonna have my work cut out for me, but regardless, folks, I'm gonna give it my best shot. Everyone, for this challenge, I'm gonna try to get this down within today. Actually, you know what? Let's just, let's just make it interesting. Hey babe, yeah. how much time should I give myself to do this? No, 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 I mean for today. There's something on an eight camp tonight, so I, it would be nice if you were done by then. Okay, well that's eight and a half hours. All right, well, everyone, I'm gonna give myself eight and a half hours to get all this down. If you believe in me, if you guys think I'm gonna be able to eat everything within eight hours, that's roughly about 24 to 25,000 calories worth of strongman food, comment down below, strong. 
because I'm gonna need some strength for this one. That being said, everyone, total calories for meal number one are gonna be listed like right there for you all, and total macros, protein, carbs, fat, those will be listed like right there for you all. Without further ado, Electric Empire, this is meal number one. This is breakfast. All right, everybody, so just so we all know what time it is, it is currently 11.32, now 11.33, Friday, January 15th, and we're ready to get this one started. Since I don't have any ketchup, and all I have is no sugar added ketchup, we're ready to start with the eggs. All right, so eight hours, 26 minutes. Got me a spoon for this. What, it's a strongman challenge. They're giants. Why not eat this with a giant spoon? And we are ready to get this one started in three, two, and. I mean, so far, so good. There's a lot of cheese on this. So far, it's going sensational, all right? Now, I'm sure you guys are, are waiting for it. We gotta build a little breakfast sandwich. There's always a use for bacon. That, my friends, is what I call a breakfast sandwich. Wow. One more for the ASMR people. This is a breakfast of champions. All right, all of our bacon's now. Oh, we just gotta finish off our eggs. Probably should just use my hands. All right, well our eggs are down. Goodness gracious, that was delicious. Absolutely delicious. Also have one protein shake down. Oh, I think we just gotta move on over to our cinnamon toast crunch next. You guys know me. I love the cinnamon toast crunch. And I just gotta give a big shout out to Brian Shaw. Okay. Obviously, he's got good taste in cereal. Full milk, regular milk. And there you have it, my friends and family. You got yourselves an epic bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. Can I just say right now how much I love breakfast? I just love it. it. There's everything about breakfast is amazing. Okay, if I had to break it down for like my favorite food challenges to do, breakfast would certainly be my favorite for sure. Let me know if you guys want some more breakfast challenges. Cereal's down. First box of cereal is down. I gotta get started. Oh my, my jar of peanut butter here. I like to take things a little bit. Uh, over the top, because I pretty much could have just did two tablespoons of peanut butter, but I'm me, and I love peanut butter. And when I see an opportunity to eat more peanut butter, I go for it. Now that, my friends, is a, is a proper serving of peanut butter and a slice of toast. Toast is simply a vessel. You know what? This toast just needs to be taken up a few notches. I'm gonna show you guys something delicious. Let's see. Just layer in peanut butter just like so. Usually I would use Skippy, but my Skippy was sold out. I was heartbroken. Next, a little dollop of cinnamon just like so. And then after that, sprinkle on some sugar. Pour some sugar on me. And there you have it, my friends and family. That is an epic slice of toast right there. Yummy! Oh! 
Sugar probably wasn't the greatest decision to make. Oh well, it was delicious. Wow. Okay, well our peanut butter toast is down. Both more protein shakes are down. It's time to get over to the cinnamon toast crunch next. I wonder if I have any leftover lactate in the cupboard from the last challenge. And our peanut butter's all down too. Name a better cinnamon flavored cereal out there. I'll wait. Ooh. Starting to heat up. Ooh. All right, everybody. Well, cereal's down. Meal up one. That's complete. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories consumed right there for you guys. Total macros right over there. It is uh, it's currently 12, 15 right now, still same day. Now, it's time to pound some pavement. Okay, maybe eating 16 eggs before a bike ride wasn't the greatest idea. Yep, those eggs were definitely not a good decision. Goodness, now I haven't even pooped today. Fifty-five miles down. Now it's time for meal number two. That is most definitely not going to be sweet enough. So here we are, this is meal number two. I, I got my work cut out for me. I'm going to be paying tribute to the legends Eddie Hall and Half Thor Bjornsson, if that's how you say his name. I'm just gonna call him Thor, that's pretty much his name. The Mountain from the Game of Thrones. Let's just say that Eddie Hall's diet and Thor's diet are a bit different. Eddie likes his steak, so let me just, let me make sure I get everything right here, okay? For Eddie Hall's lunch, he apparently had a 300 gram ribeye steak with 200 grams of vegetables smothered in mayonnaise. That's gonna be a real interesting one right there. He also had a 1400 calorie dessert of half a family sized cheesecake. So I got the cheesecake. That is way more than 1400 calories. It's actually about 3500 calories. So that means I'm gonna uh, take away a few slices of that. We'll put that over there. Save that for my midnight snack. So now that's more accurate. So that would be double of what Eddie ate for his cheesecake. And he also, like I said, he ate pasta, but we're gonna be having some pasta for dinner tonight. So Thor has one heck of a protein shake. So I made double of that. You know what? I'm just gonna put the protein shake recipe right there for you guys. And it's, it's double because yeah, you guys saw me make it. He also had a handful of almonds. So I'm gonna be doing two handfuls of almonds. He also had 150 grams of Kellogg's Rice Krispies. So I got 300 grams which is basically this entire box. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna put the total calories for you guys right there, and uh, total macros for this meal will be right there. Without further ado, Electric Empire, this is meal number two. Apparently, Eddie Hall ate this smothered in mayonnaise. First time I'll be eating vegetables with mayonnaise on. Alrighty, folks, it's time to get meal number two started. You guys can see right there, so it's 4.10. Got three hours and 50. One minute left. Oh, 
good. I'm actually really surprised how good this steak came out. You know what? I gotta, of course, get on over to our steaks always right here. You know, people put a lot of things on steak, okay? But I just like to stick to the classics. Steak sauce and, of course, get a ranch fries. All the vegans still watching up to this point, just know, I, I, I still love you guys. Well, our steak is down. First protein shake is down. Can't forget our cereals. Vegetables and mayonnaise. I'm just gonna get an EWW moment. I'm 100,000% gonna regret eating that very, very soon. In fact, probably within the hour. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. All right, everybody. Well, my stomach is not really making the best noises right now, which is not good. I'm trying to block it out. All right, so uh, we gotta do a handful of nuts times two. Two handfuls of nuts. I could make a really clever joke right now, but I'm not going to. Oh. Well, our nuts and our granola bars are down. Now I think we've just gotta move on over to our Rice Krispies next. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, Rice Krispies, to me, aren't even worth eating unless you, well, mix a ton of sugar in them. Kind of a problem because I've already, ooh, ooh. But um, what we can do is uh, add some uh, some deliciousness, just like so. Hershey syrup goes on everything. Put it on a sandal and it would probably taste good. Don't do that. In my opinion, this is actually a better way to eat Rice Krispie treats. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, oh the cheesecake is not gonna be good. I really wish strongman drank all the milk. So I'm very much missing all the milk right now. Okay, I'm done. I don't know why it's so interesting to me. It's down. Trust me. Well, there's a. Uh, Second protein shake down. I don't even know, I can't even call that a protein shake. I don't even know what it is. Let's get to uh, let's get to our cheesecake. At least cheesecake goes down easy. It's just when it gets down there, it's well. Yeah, we just won't talk about that. Oh. Well, that is some good cheesecake. Oh, 
give you a really good fire. Oh, there's more. And that's the customer cheesecake bud. Oh. Yeah, tonight's, tonight's gonna be rough. Which is, uh, which is why you guys should stay around until the end of the video for the aftermath. Assuming it's, assuming it's, <laughs> I can't talk, assuming I survived this. All right, folks, well, just like that, it has been y'all. Number two, my stomach feels very, well, it's in another dimension right now. It is uh, 454, total calories will be right there, consumed so far, total macros will be over there. Looks like we have uh, about three hours left. Now, uh, it's time for me to clean up. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna try to do something that I've never done before. This might get pretty interesting. Sometimes all you gotta do is just just rock back and forth on the gut. Just rock back and forth. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, when you have a giant food baby, like I do right now, sometimes it just feels good. I'm probably not making any sense, but no oh well. Strong man exercises. Well, the gyms aren't open right now, but I think I can make something happen. All right, everybody. Strong men, they usually play with giant stones. That's how they train hard, but I've got something better than giant stones. I've got jugs, big jugs. Apparently this is called like the yoke walk. Farmer's carry. Farmer's carry. Good for your forearms. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this strong man thing is for me. Don't get me wrong, I still feel, I still feel terrible, but I feel a lot better. Whew. It's Olive Garden time. The world's strongest men love to eat pasta. So I ordered some pasta from Olive Garden. And by the way, everybody, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, it would mean the world to me if you gave it a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not subscribed already, because I've got a ton of insane calorie challenges coming at you guys. 2021 and if you guys want more eric the electric be sure to follow me on instagram because instagram always sees everything way way before the challenges drop and i also love interacting with all my subscribers and followers on instagram as well link to all that is down below in the description now we wait 32.5 minutes later thanks so much you take care all right yeah, you too. the only thing that's gonna really suck about tonight's final meal is what i have to drink before I make this, I just want you guys to know what you're about to witness me put in this protein shake might shock you. And quite frankly, I have no idea what's gonna happen when I drink this, but the mountain from Game of Thrones drinks this and is able to look the way he does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink this protein shake. One regular shake is 30 grams of almonds, 50 grams of peanut butter, one avocado, and six raw eggs. The shake I'm going to be making is gonna have 12 eggs, two avocados, 60 grams of almonds, and 100 grams of peanut butter. Raw eggs, man, really? Yum. I gotta try this out before I attempt to consume this. Bottoms up. Bruh, no way, no way. I have to take this down though, somehow. I think I got an idea. <sighs> All right, everybody, so we have meal number three in front of us right here. Um, yeah. 
it's safe to say that it's gonna be a while before I willingly drink a protein shake ever again after this challenge. But regardless, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, because I love you guys. And we also gotta get our protein in today. Anyways, everyone, this is meal number three. Like I said, in this meal, I'm paying tribute to Brian Shaw, Eddie Hall, and of course, Thor, because I made a shake. I noticed a trend in both Brian and Eddie's videos because they really, really seem to like Italian food. So, everyone, we got us a feast of deliciousness here. And we gotta get started here. It's like we have 30 short minutes to get this one down. So I'm gonna stop talking to everyone, I'm gonna get straight into this one. Oh yeah, and by the way, also had to get some protein bars too because apparently Eddie Hall has a protein bar along with 1.5 liters of water before he goes to bed. And like I said, everyone, if you guys wanna see the aftermath of all this, be sure to stick around until the end of the video. That being said, everyone, total calories for this meal will be listed like right there for you guys and total macros, those will be right there. Without further ado, Electric Empire, this is meal number three. I think, you know what folks, let's just, let's go ahead and get into this. Like I said earlier, bread is simply a vessel. Simply a vessel for your deliciousness. Simply a vessel. There we go. Let's see if this is gonna be good. Here we go. From what I tasted, I was gonna get fire. Good. So far, so good. I'm really glad I added some cheesecake and that pint of Ben and Jerry's to these shakes because there's no way I'd be able to drink that shake without it. All right. Meatball, garlic bread. I swear my lights are like ghost lights or something. All right, well, first pasta's down, first protein shake's down. I really hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I know a lot of you asked me to do an Italian food challenge and I might just have to do one. I might just have to do an Olive Garden challenge. I mean, I would love to just eat an entire gigantic loaf of garlic bread. Who you knows? Lots coming in 2021. I wonder what it would be like to eat a pound of garlic. I love garlic. Actually, on second thought, that might not end so well. Um, I think we gotta get on over to our protein bar over here. I'm making an executive decision over here to just eat two, not four, because oh, I really don't need the extra protein. Especially after how January's gone. For me. In terms of food challenges on this channel. Oh. Well, wow. Looks like you're gonna get a fire from here. Very good. Alright, folks. So well, protein bars are down. The second shake is down. Now I think I just. Oh, I gotta get to the last half of here. You know, everybody. I believe in innovating is. Or just humanly possible, especially with with food. So you can maximize deliciousness when you get to this point in a calorie challenge. It all just it all just kind of hits the same. Let's make a garlic garlic bread meatball sandwich. Everyone, I was gonna get a gummy. Really? Like, apparently I need to buy new lights. Alright, Electric Empire, we have eight minutes left. Final push. Boom. Oh. Almost there. Oh. Oh, 
boss is down. I just gotta see if you guys are still with the flow of the video. Comment down below. Pasta. Because we, we finished off with some pasta tonight. And also be sure to stay tuned for next week's video. I got something coming for you guys. Let's finish this. Ooh. And just like that, electric empire. That has been another crazy, insane, ooh, calorie challenge. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Ended up finishing at 7.58, two minutes short of eight o'clock. Now, comes the aftermath. This is not gonna be pretty. I look 19 months pregnant. Now, it's time for our post-challenge weigh-in. I don't think I'm cut out for this strong man thing. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know down below in the comments section. And subscribe to the channel if you guys have not subscribed already. I got tons of crazy, insane food challenges coming for you guys in 2021. Thanks again for watching the video, everybody, and I'll see you guys in the next food challenge.